Hi Virgo and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look at who it is you might potentially end up with, get you know, get married with or uh, get married to or settle down with. Uh, as always guys, these messages are general, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see who it is Virgo might potentially end up with and you know, right off into a sunset with. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, Earthly Energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. Um, he or she, I feel like, is very stable, very loyal, uh, very committed, very down to earth, very grounded here. I'm also seeing that this person is very protective. Um, over themselves and people that are very close to them um, a bit of they're very outdoorsy here they can have a bit of a green thumb here or they're really like into gardening here uh, plants um, I feel like this person is someone who works extremely hard here in order to uh, and meet or maintain their success I'm also seeing that this is someone who I feel like this, there's a lot of waiting around this person's energy so I, I feel like maybe they're waiting for um, they're waiting, you know, to find the one. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for uh, the right time to, uh, I feel like, to make some sort of bold move with regards to career, or they're waiting for results to come in here. Um, I'm also seeing that for some of you here, there is going to be a position. Uh, when you meet this person, I'm, I feel like you will be met with some resistance from their family because I feel like there will be some opposition now this either comes from family or from friends or I feel like connecting energies I don't know if it's from their side or your side here um, the career is very challenging here I feel like they, they, they work extremely hard and I feel like it takes uh, a toll on them a physical and a mental toll on them as well I'm also seeing that there's a lot of challenges, uh, especially with regards to career around this person. Um, now, this person, I'm seeing that they're uh, investing long term into something. So either like um, property investments um, or uh, shares here, because I feel like they're trying to profit off uh, previous efforts here or will profit off um, efforts in the future. Um, with regards to their current work position, I feel like it's stable, but I'm seeing a lot of challenges here. I'm also seeing there's a lot of financial planning around this person's energy. So this is someone who I feel like is either wanting to set aside a retirement fund or wanting to buy and invest in a property or otherwise wanting to save more money. Um, so I feel like they're really good with their financial um with their financial resources and their financial situation here. I'm also seeing that this person is a little bit um is uh, they can have a bit of a jealousy streak uh, so with regards to you know your connection they can be a little bit possessive or a little bit jealousy as well um, a very slow moving energy guys uh, a very slow moving energy here um, can be even somewhat frustratingly so slow for some of you jet black hair here for males or females um, I feel like this person is very casual in their uh, in their appearance here. Yeah, very casual, very very grounded, very down to earth. Not very showy here. Not very showy at all. Um, okay, let's see what else we can try and figure out about this individual. Okay, you've got the Ace of Cups here. All right, someone who I feel like is um, they're very vulnerable here. So strong water energy with the Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like they're quite emotionally sensitive, very fragile, very intuitive, very strong intuition that's coming through uh, with their energy. This is someone who feels the need to be very, um, they want to be fulfilled. They want to be fulfilled when it comes to love, romance, career choices here. I'm also seeing that this person is very um, intuitive here. This is someone who I feel like um, lets their intuition guide them. They're also quite... Uh, creative here. I feel like they're very um, artistically or mu uh, musically um, inclined here. I'm seeing either they use some sort of uh, creative um, 
project as an outlet, like creative expression as an outlet here. And it sort of allows them for some emotional discipline here. This is someone whom you're going to have an extremely uh, strong emotional connection with, and that's very important for them. This is someone who um, I feel like it's important for that they are emotionally vulnerable, but it's important for them to open themselves up, especially when it comes to love and uh, you know romance here. Um, I don't think they're not a heavy drinker, but I do feel like this person likes a lot, uh, you know, a nice um, glass of wine or a cold beer here. This is someone who I feel like you're going to be, um, you might be friends first and then lovers for some of you here. And this is someone who I feel like uh, your connection, feel like this person gets you. This is someone who just completely understands you, who completely gets you. This is someone whom you completely, um, like the two of you understand each other. The two of you can really understand each other here as well. Um, for some of you, I'm seeing that maybe you might meet this person uh, whilst go like whilst out, whilst you head out on a night out. For others, it could be that you meet this person at a social gathering, at a happy gathering of some sort here as well. Um, this person has, I feel like they have intentions to start a family. They have intentions to start a family. Um, I'm also seeing that they have some sort of, I did mention some sort of creative project here that I feel like brings them a lot of joy. It, it could be like a, a passion, um, a side hobby or something that I feel like could uh, potentially turn a profit in the future here. This is someone very caring, very kind, very generous, uh, someone who's very helpful, very loving here. This person will be extremely supportive of your decisions and what it is that you want to do. A very supportive and loving partner here. Um, I am seeing financial stability here around this person's energy. Um, someone who's very giving. They've got a lot of love to give. They've got a lot of love to give. The problem is this person has probably flowed their love to the wrong person in the past. Um, blue eyes is coming through. Okay, six of wands. There we go. So fire energy now. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, success. I feel like this person will become very successful in their ventures or they are I don't feel like they've, maybe they've already stepped into the winner's circle, but for a lot of them, I feel like this is yet to come in the future here. They're going to be very, um, it could, they could be worldly recognized here for their talents and their achievements here. Um, they're very, they go, like, notice the reef of victory that crowns the, um, the writer's head here. So I'm seeing victory, success, rewards, recognitions, praises, accolades, acclaims here. Um, they're, they're in a great place here. This is going to be a very positive relationship, a very positive, strong partnership here. Um, some of you, I feel like, could potentially find love at work, at you know, at a career, at your workplace here. For others of you, I'm seeing that this is going to be... This person is someone whom you've been searching for. And I'm also seeing that some of you, I feel like, will be working towards something, which is going to be very successful. Like... You might be working towards building a home together, building a future together, moving in together, maybe after a long distance relationship or, you know, having some sort of goal like, yeah, buying a home or um, investing in a business, investing in some sort of property here. Uh, you'll be very successful here. Like the two of you work really well together. Very strong partnership here is coming through. A very self-confident, positive energy here. Um, I feel like, yeah, this person is... Um, they're very proud here of their achievements. I don't feel like it's arrogant arrogance. Um, there's a lot of rewards coming their way, but I feel like it's not inherited. I feel like it's um, they deserve it here. There's some sort of financial position. They're in a like a solid financial position here in the future, or they potentially might uh, meet uh, success here in the future. Um, June, the months of June and July, if you haven't met this individual, the months of June and July are coming in. It's hard to say whether it's this year or the following or the following, you know, the following years to come here. Um, I feel like maybe this person is perhaps born maybe in the months of June, July, or the two of you might meet in, in during those months here. 
they're very passionate. I feel like they're very passionate about what it is that they do. Um, and the two of you will have a very passionate, successful uh, connection here. Okay, Nine of Cups. I do feel like this person is someone whom you're manifesting right now. This is uh, someone, like they have the traits and the characteristics that you desire within the partner. I do get this energy that they're putting something out, like in, onto a uh, worldly platform. So either they put something out on the internet or they will become recognized around the world or at least in your country, your city or your state here. Some sort of fame, some sort of recognition is coming in. This person is like a, a wish come true and you'll feel very much like a wish come true here. The two of you are actually slowly manifesting each other right now. So if you haven't met this person just yet, be a little bit more patient. It will happen, maybe not according in your timeline, but most certainly in the universe's timeline here. Um, yeah, I feel like I did mention earlier on, I'm seeing that the two of you will potentially meet at a social gathering. So look, it could still be like career work related, but it might be like a Christmas party or a work function of some sort. For others, it could be outside of work, but some sort of happy gathering or even like on a night out. I do feel like this person, I feel like they have a favorite whiskey or they have a fa favorite go-to bee or, you know, they really like to indulge in um, a good glass of red. Um, I, I feel like, yeah, they're not a heavy drinker. I, I wouldn't say that, but I do feel like um, this person, I'm seeing that there is, I'm seeing that they like to indulge uh, from time to time. They like to indulge in a nice uh, red here um, or a cold bee. Um, yeah, I did mention that this person is very proud. I'm getting blue eyes. For a lot of you, I feel like this person is... Um, uh, and yeah, I'm picking up blue eyes. I'm also picking up that this person either lo loves wearing hats um, or they have a nice selection of hats. I feel like they're a hat person or they're a cap person here. Um, also, red is... I don't know why, but red is very important. They either have a very distinct or unique red tattoo or they have this red scarf or they have their favorite red cap here. Um, or they might even drive like a red car, like I'm seeing, yeah, I feel like red somehow, um, there's something that they have um, either on them, like tattooed on them, or like a piece of jewelry, or like a, a hat that they wear, like an accessory, or like a, it, it feels like, it's like a really interesting red color, a very unique, very distinct, like almost like a cherry red. Um, yeah, so that really stands out here. Okay, guys, um, and that's pretty much all I have for you. Just So I just want to thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.